Aaron, the training staff looked at Joey Gallo for quite some time after he was hit by that pitch, and then obviously he exited the game. Is there an update on him? Not yet. Um, he's getting x-rays and everything, so we'll see what we have uh, Yeah, when we get that. What's your concern? Well, he couldn't hit, so I took him out of the game. So, you know, concerns, and we'll, we'll see what we have now with the x-rays and um, see what we have overnight. What was the explanation from Urshela and Gallo on that drop ball in the fifth? I think it was one, it's one of those where, you know, I think Joey's just got to completely take charge on that one, you know, especially as good an outfielder. And I think he just shied away when he saw uh, Gio, but, but Gio, Gio wasn't waving his arms or anything, which is the only time you'd even consider, um, you know, letting the infielder, you know, take it. I, I think that's a ball. He's just got to be super aggressive, get loud and take it. We can take a next question. Brian Hoke, please unmute. And Aaron, what is the situation with Luke Boyd? Uh, what do you mean? He looked like he was having trouble coming off the field after oh, that. Oh, yeah. He, he just kind of on his knee that bugs him sometimes. I think he just slammed on it. So, um, Hopefully he should be okay. He gets that little bone bruise every now and then. I think when he stopped, it kind of just bit him a little bit. So he got some treatment. We'll see what we have tomorrow. Should be. I'm hoping he's okay. Bob Clappish, you have the next question. Hey Aaron, what was your impression of Cole tonight? What did you think? Well, it's tough. Again, it was good. You know, it, it took him a few innings to kind of get his slider going. Um, and then I thought he settled into a pretty good rhythm there in the middle innings, um, you know, gives up that fifth run that where the ball falls in the outfield. And then we got the infield in and they hit the chopper on him. So I thought he settled into a good groove, you know, especially after the first two hitters where I think he just, I think he was driving the fastball to lanes. They were obviously, you know, from a game plan standpoint, very aggressive hunting fastball early in the count. And, you know, Simeon gets him for the home run, um, you know, and I, I thought maybe where he's going to some lanes with some fastball where he's very close to getting there, it looked like some balls just kind of leaked back into some barrels. Um, but I thought he settled into a pretty good rhythm there in the middle innings and, and kept us in the game and, and got us through six innings. But, um, you know, good job by them being aggressive. And when they got a fastball that, you know, got to their zone a little bit, they, they didn't miss a couple of them. Jill Sherman, you have the next question. Um, Aaron, uh, you, we talked a lot all year about people, especially off of the short season last year, potentially running out of gas. I think we've never talked about that with Cole. We just assume he's a horse. Do you think he's running out of some gas here late in the season? No, no. I, I think I think he's in a pretty good spot. You know, obviously he missed he missed some time there with the COVID and 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 missed a start with with the um, um, Hammy, but. Um, no, I think stuff wise, and I think physically, he's a, he's in a pretty good spot. Um, you know, he got dinged on a couple homers today, but um, I feel like he's physically anyway, and where he should be this time of year. Thank you, mm -hmm. Marley Rivera. You have the next question. Um, hi, Aaron. I apologize if this has been asked before because uh, the signal is very bad. Um, what did you think of Jonathan Lloyd today? Lowe was great. I mean, I thought the stuff was really good, but then he was really sharp also, you know, and we throw him into a pretty big spot there, tie game there, um, top of the order, and, uh, you know, he, he mowed through him pretty easily, real efficient. Uh, stuff looked really crisp, so um, good to get him out there and in, into a big spot, and I thought he looked not only stuff-wise really good, but command and sharpness really good too. And Aaron, obviously, you guys have been playing very meaningful games for quite some time now in September. But did this one have a particular playoff atmosphere? Oh, I, don't, I mean, I think we've been in that mode of late. You know, we just came from Boston. You know, obviously, they raced out to a big lead. So I think the crowd was was energized and into it. Really liked the way our guys competed and battled back to get into that game. And they outlasted us tonight. But, um, yeah, I mean, it was a great atmosphere to be able Felt like an important game, I guess, uh, from a from a stadium standpoint. 
Bruce Beck, you have the next question. Aaron, as you turn your attention to tomorrow, where do, what are your thoughts as this race uh, really tightens once again? Let's go. This is, you know, we're, we're in a good spot. Um, I feel like, I feel like the guys are having a lot of fun competing with a lot on the line. And, uh, that's where you want to be this time of year and, and can't wait to get back here tomorrow and get after it again.